Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be talking about blocking and filtering phone calls in your CallRail account. So if you are like every other business on earth, you probably get a lot of spam calls. Super annoying. Also like a total buzzkill if like calls are coming in, you're like wanting leads and then a call comes in and it's like ranks India that I talked about in my last video. Last video I filmed, I don't know if it's the last video you watched. But anyways, so calls are coming in and uh, a lot of times this can seriously irritate clients as well. Like. Uh, not only is it just annoying and uh, it just like messes with reporting and it bothers their call centers. I mean, it's just like an irritating sort of thing. So cleaning it up, uh, Colorado has some features to clean it up and it's, it's uh, pretty powerful and helpful. So if you head on over to your settings section, down here in the tools as blocked callers, and um, you can add a number here and block it. So you can say, do you wanna block it for all companies in the account, yes or no? And then you put in the number, blah, 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 hit block, and boom, it'll be added down here. Now, there are two options. You can either set it as uh, as challenge, which means that they're going to prompt the caller to press one in order for the call to connect. So in many cases, that's going to basically prevent the call from connecting because they're not pressing one if it's some sort of automated call. Or you're just going to flat out reject it. Now, if you flat out reject it, they're never getting through, not getting through no matter what. So if you just want to reject calls, go for it. Uh, you can see here that this number, like we block some calls and sometimes they don't get any activity. Like we have a lot of these with zeros, they're spam calls, but like they don't call again. Like they have a different number, like the numbers are rotated or something. In this case, this person tried to call nine times. We rejected them nine times. The most recent was January 12th. It's currently February 14th, so it hasn't been rejected in a while. So you can see here how many times calls are blocked or rejected. And then you can start to kind of clean them up over time. If um, if, uh, if, if this just continues for, if the list gets too long. Uh, so here I can hit this guy and then I can unblock or block for all companies. So, you know, I, I can definitely change it and um, unblock them if I wanted to. Oops, that went over here to all companies. This is the all company blocked calls for the, for the account. All right, so what I'm doing is, um, I feel like I'm seeing a different list. Oh, because it was sorted, got it, okay. So the, the other component uh, is you can, you can also enter an area code or an area code exchange or a full digit, a full 10 digit phone number. So if you wanna get more broad in your blocking, you can do that as well. So one thing that I wanted to show you was uh, we get a decent amount of spam calls. So I'm gonna head over to our activity and then I'm going to go to, uh, this call was, where is that call? These guys, Coatesville, uh, it's organic. Uh, I think it's these guys right here. It's a duplicate caller, not a duplicate caller. This is a spam caller. Yeah, Colbertson. I don't know who that is. But they keep calling, and I think I answered this, and it was like a bogus call. So you have inbound calls coming in right here. I can hit this guy and mark it as spam. Okay, so this call is now marked as spam. Now I'm going to head back over to my settings, and I'm going to go to blocked callers. And I'm going to sort this. And now that guy's added to this list as challenge. So that's great. Like I was able to just add someone to the blocked calls list uh, right from the interface of the call and I don't have to come over here and add them manually. So that's just a nice little feature. Uh, it also says that blocked calls and text messages will not appear on your reports and uh, you can obviously block them in two different ways. So this is not an elaborate feature. Uh, there's not all that much going on with it, but it is a nice one if you're just looking to clean up the traffic coming into your account and make it easier for you and your clients to manage it. So um, that's all for today's video. As always, if you have questions, let me know. See you in the next video.